Hello guys, Ancient Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco. Who? Oh! And by the way, today I'm reviewing the new Adrenaline Drivers and we shall call it 24.9.1 Beta. And I know it is not properly Beta, but I'll call it Beta because I know that there are some of these things that will be presented on the 24.9.1 Drivers, the official one, so let's call it Beta. And as I say in all my videos, 24 is the year 2024, 9 is the month, in this case September, and 1 is the revision in that same month, the first revision of September. But take in consideration that this is a mixed review. And mixed not in terms of being bad or, or great the driver, mixed because we have two driver versions, and I'll tell you exactly why we have two driver versions right after today's sponsor. I gotcha. GVG more. Bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only $15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. So in this video, we have two driver versions. Why? Because we had one released in the September 5th and one released in September 6th. And the first one was the Warhammer Space Marines 2 driver, a driver specifically for that. And then we have the AFMF 2 drivers that were updated and now also include the things presented on these drivers. And I wanted to know if these two drivers are the same or in this case, if the AFMF 2 driver, since it was released just or updated one day after the, the Space Marines 2 driver, if it was just basically the Space Marines driver with AFMF2 or not, if the performance was the same or not. And that's why I'm going to show you the two drivers, because basically the AFMF2 updates just include some updates to AFMF2 and mostly uh, some fixes that the previous drivers have, like stutters and so on. And, and yeah, that's why I'm getting you the, the release notes of both drivers because they're basically the same. But well, let's go to the release notes. Starting with the Space Marines 2 driver, or at least that's how the AMD Radeon X profile calls it on X, of course, once again, it's the X profile, so yeah, not the X files, the X files are a different thing. And we have highlights with AMD Radeon anti lag 2 Vulcan support for Counter-Strike 2. AMD Radeon anti lag 2 now supports Vulcan API, offering additional responsive gaming options. AMD Radeon anti lag 2 introduces an in-game option to optimally pace frames, further reducing input lag on AMD Radeon RDNA architecture-based graphic pro graphics product, sorry. Users looking for a way to measure response time can use our frame latency meter, FLM, or the built-in latency monitor in AMD Radeon anti lag 2 that you can use when clicking Alt plus Shift plus L, hotkeys of course at the same time till you get all the, the layouts that you can see. You can see that actually on my anti lag 2 video where I show you uh, the layout, the latencies and so on in several games. And after this, all we have are the fixed issues. With the first one being performance improvements for Warhammer 4000 Space Marine 2. The second one is intermittent driver timeout or application crash while playing Warhammer 4000 or 40k Space Marine 2. Once again, basically improving the performance and um, fixing the, the crashes that might happen in Space Marine 2. And the third fix is overly dark shadows or desaturated colors may be observed while playing Black, Black Myth Wukong when global illumination is set to medium or higher and yeah this happens and this actually happens on this video with the 24.8.1 24.7.1 drivers are fine but the 24 the 24 point <coughs> something entered my mouth but the 24.8.1 drivers do have this issue and you can see uh, in the end of the video uh, comparing when I'm comparing the 24.8.1 to the the Space Marine 2 drivers to the FMF2 ones, you can see that the shadows are completely broken on the 24.8.1 with Black Myth Wukong, but it was fixed, of course, with these new drivers. And that's basically it for these beta drivers, let's call them that. And as for the, AM, the FMF2 drivers, once again, the same basically preview driver introduction, everything, but if you just roll back to the end of the page, you see September 6th. What's new? We have updated our technical preview driver to include new game optimizations and general stability fixes, including several crash issues reported by the community. This AFMF2 technical preview driver includes optimizations and improvements for Warhammer 4000 Space Marine 2, giving gamers a high quality frame generation experience when combined with the in-game support for AMD FidelityFX Super Resolution, FSR2. 
And I believe that the, um, that the update that they've done here is basically because of that, because Space Marines 2 does not bring any kind of frame generation technology, at least yet, of course, it will bring, but it only brings the LSS and FSR 2 upscaling. So even in terms of upscaling, not, we don't even have FSR 3.1 it is just FSR2. It's not a bad implementation of FSR2, but it is still FSR2. And even on the Nvidia side, we don't have frame generation as well, which is a bummer, but it will be there. Uh, they, they've done an official statement, I believe, showing that they will have, of course, the LSS3 and FSR3 frame generation. Now, FSR3.1, it will be there, so don't worry. But for now, I believe that AMD kind of updated the driver so people can use AFMF2 in Space Marines 2 because we don't have frame generation inside the game, but you can use AFMF2, which is quite cool. And that's basically all we have. I'm not sure, and I'm, I'm saying it again, I'm not sure, but I believe that the 24, that the, the first AFMF2 drivers were actually the 24.6.1 with AFMF. And the 24.6.1 had some issues in some games like Battlefield games and some other, some crashes. Uh, in some other scenarios, we had stutters like Fortnite and so on. Once again, I'm not sure, but I believe that was the case. And with these drivers, I believe that these drivers are basically the 29, the 24.9.1 beta plus AFMF2. But of course, we're going to test it really, really soon. And now to the interesting part, what I found about these two driver versions. For these drivers, I tested mostly the, the RX 7900 XTX, and then I added the RX 6600 XT to see how it performed as well. And I tested Black Myth Wukong and Space Marines 2, a game that I was already thinking about buying, but I bought it specially to test in these drivers. And what I found is that with these new drivers, both the Space Marine 2 and the AFMF2 drivers, we got slightly better FPS in Wukong, Black Myth Wukong, with once again the 7900 XTX, but we also had the AFMF2 driver somehow, the AFMF2 driver somehow had lower FPS in Space Marines 2 with the 7900 XTX. And uh, the driver version that actually got more FPS is the 24.8.1 which once again makes no sense, but it is what it is. It was working like this, so uh, the 24.8.1 the drivers were actually the best performers with the 7900 XTX, but some issues might happen, and that's why the Space Marines 2 driver uh, actually, well, delivers slightly lower FPS, but really inside the margin of error, let's call it that. Um, and at least it is stable and it should perform better in some situations, maybe not in the ones that I tested, but in some situations it might perform better, which is nice to know. And most issues are fixed. Mo most issues that might happen with the 24.8.1 drivers are fixed. And at the same time, they also fix the shadows in Black Myth Wukong that now perform better. So it's a win-win situation overall. But if you're using the 7900 XTX and you want to use AFMF somehow, once again, uh, yeah, the FPS are a bit lower. I don't know why, but they are. But at the same time, you can use fluid motion frames and make the game feel much better. So <laughs> it's a trade-off, I guess. As for the RX 6600 XT, both the most recent drivers are quite fine being it the Space Marines 2 driver or the AFMF2, which once again is basically a Space Marines 2 driver plus AFMF from what I understand, and they both work fine in Black Myth Wukong and uh, even, yeah, Black Myth Wukong and even, uh, and even Space Marines 2, the drivers just work fine. And if you are using this card, I actually advise you to use the AFMF2 drivers because you can use AFMF2 in your games if you want to, and at the same time, you have all the optimizations of the previous drivers, which is which is fine. And the only th the only bad thing that I found about these drivers, at least the 24.8.1, is that when your computer goes to sleep or something close to that, and you open you open the computer again, or you turn on the computer again, or uh, something related to that, the software will just uh, open out of the blue, but that's just it. You just have to close it again and it's fine till you have another sleep or something like that. I didn't find it happening with, with these drivers, the, the Space Marines 2 driver and the AFMF 2 drivers on my computers, but once again, it's just my experience and it might still happen to you, but at least to me, it didn't. So I don't really know if it is fixed, if it is just better than it was before, I don't really know, but this was an issue presented uh, with the 24.8.1 and AMD is aiming to fix it very, very soon, I was told. But yeah, guys, that's basically all for this video, drivers and so on, so on, so on. And by the way, um, yeah, I'm. it seems that I'm finally moving to my new house. Um, I mean, 
it took some, <laughs> I mean, it took a lot of time, but yeah, the studio is finally done. I already have internet there, so it's, it's, it's going on. By the way, check this out. And well, guys, just for perspective, yeah, this is my new studio at my new house. And yeah, I have kind of, yeah, I'm tired. I didn't sleep much because I had to come here to the service. But yeah, the internet is mounted at least. Things are here. And as you can see, it's an, it's a completely empty studio. That's why we have lots of echo, even though the walls are new and so on. As you can see, yeah, the studio will be very, very nice. There's still, of course, a lot to go and a lot to go in the house on its, um, well, on its fullness, let's say that. But yeah, things are, things are getting done step by step, but we'll get there. Yeah, that's all for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, leave your comment in the comment section and let me know what you thought about these drivers. And by the way, by the way, I did this video of Windows 11 23 half 2 versus Windows 11 24 half 2. And I'm now doing a comparison with the Ryzen 9 CPUs and I'll also add the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D, for example or the 7700X, I'm still thinking about it. But I tested so far the 7900X 3D and the 9900X going balanced versus performance mode because the dual CCD CPUs from AMD, the Ryzen 9 CPUs, basically, they have lots of issues, especially the dual CCD, uh, the dual CCD CPUs with 3D Vcache. And I found that sometimes the balanced mode, which is advised by AMD, doesn't really allocate all the resources that it should. And in some scenarios it uses two or three threads from the dual CCD, the, the other CCD, the CCD2, let's call it that, uh, while using everything from the CCD1 since it doesn't really need to use those threads and it creates latency and it uses it doesn't use the cache properly and I found that in some scenarios it can, you can get a pretty nice performance boost if you just go to Windows and just set the affinity to the first CCD, kind of obligate Windows to just use those cores for that game. If you do that, in most scenarios, you can get a very nice performance boost, especially with the 7900X 3D, since it has dual CCD and 3D Vcache on the first CCD only. So it's pretty interesting, but the video will come very soon. Thank you very much. Leave your comments in the comment section and see you in the next one, I guess. Cheers. Team leader to squad. Box check. Repeat. Kill team leader to squad. Confirm Vox contact. Team leader to squad. Box check. Repeat. Kill team leader to squad. Confirm Vox contact. Brother Darius, or the commander. Nothing. It is left to us.
to share the glory now, Telstras. Hold on, brothers. 